Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and in front of me is a 40 volt lithium brushless Ryobi brand uh, push lawnmower. It is a 20 inch model. Uh, it's got some LED headlights on it. And this was getting thrown out by somebody. A friend of mine said his neighbor was throwing this out and he said he'd grab it for me if I wanted it for parts or playing around with or whatever. So I said, yes, definitely. And the reason why, now I don't have any 40 volt batteries, but I do have a number of 18 volt batteries. And just recently I was playing around with these 18 volt batteries with a 3D printed connector to go on top, which uses a little clip. It's just a couple of these little um, Keystone 209 clips that go right onto the plastic and I soldered on a wire. And I thought, well, if I've got two of these in series, fully charged, that's 40 volts. Now down here, um, it's not actually, doesn't show you what the polarity is. So I looked around, um, couldn't find any photos of a 40 volt battery, but I did of a charger indicating that that side was uh, positive, that side was negative. So I got these two batteries here in series and right in the middle of them, I got the fuse just in case I accidentally get a short circuit or something. So in theory, this is like having a 40 volt battery there. Now you also have kind of a, a key of sorts right here. It just completes the circuit. And let's see if we can get this thing to work. So up here, you gotta push a button and pull back this handle to make the mower go. So if we press the button, I was very excited to see that the headlights turn on there. They're actually fairly bright. I mean, it's, uh, it's dusk right now, but um, I mean, they kind of light things up. So what I gotta do is, hopefully I can do this all one-handed, um, press that button and pull the handle here. Now, nothing's happening. And it took me a minute to figure out why. Now, I do see right down here, it says prior to use, handle must be fully extended and locked. And you can kind of see it slides through here and there's sort of a, a latch and it's so the handle can fold up. So let's just make sure it's all the way up. And what I noticed is that over here, it appears that there's a micro switch. Now I'm not gonna be able to get a real good view of it, but kinda, kinda right in there. And you, actually I could hear it. It's like a little click right there. So I believe that's just a safety switch. So you gotta have this all the way up and locked. Let's try this now. Nope, nothing. Let's try again. Use two hands this time. So there we go. It's literally a perfectly good lawnmower that uh, somebody threw out. Who, who knows, maybe uh, they just had a dead battery, didn't want to deal with it anymore. Maybe they had a problem with that micro switch up here. I don't know why, but uh, runs just fine on a pair of these uh, 18 volt batteries here. Uh, the other thing that came up in conversation when I was telling some folks about this is somebody said, oh yeah, you can just buy those. And uh, in fact, I did get one. This is a uh, pretty nice plastic. It's just a cap. It snaps on the end of the battery. It's got two wires coming out of it. Uh, and basically these are sold for power wheels for you just use an 18 volt battery instead of replacing an expensive power wheels battery on your kid's ride on toy. Um, so if you're looking for one of these, uh, type uh, Ryobi and power wheels into Amazon and you'll find it. I'll have a link to. Um, I also kind of like it's uh, nice plastic that matches all the Ryobi stuff. But if you don't have a 3D printer, stuff like this is an option too. So hope you like that. I was kind of excited for my little evening's quick project here. And until next time, stay charged up.